Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Trump has the chance to change the trajectory of the court after Justice Anthony Kennedy, the perennial swing vote, announced his retirement last week. During the 2016 campaign, Trump said he would appoint nominees who would overturn Roe v. Wade, an act that could make abortion illegal in a score of states. With little recourse to stop Republicans or even slow the process, Democrats are hoping to pressure pro-abortion rights Republicans like Senator Susan Collins, our Maine, to vote against any nominee that would threaten Roe v. Wade, the landmark abortion ruling. Collins said Sunday on CNN that she would not support anyone who is against the Roe v. Wade ruling. I would not support a nominee who demonstrated hostility to Roe v. Wade because that would mean to me that their judicial philosophy did not include a respect for established decisions, established law, she said. Cantwell said her party's strategy was to speak out about how a new conservative justice could fundamentally change the court. Trump is expected to announce his nominee July 9. This is a very different Supreme Court discussion, because everyone in the United States Senate who is going to go vote on this knows that it will change the balance of power," Cantwell said. So you're not just voting on whether Trump should have his nominee, you're voting on whether that nominee is going to change precedent. Trump said Sunday that he would probably not ask his Supreme Court pick how they would vote on the Roe v. Wade legal precedent during an interview with Fox News. But he added that abortion rights could very well end up being determined on a state-by-state -state basis after his pick is confirmed. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who beat a senior House Democrat from New York in a primary last week, called on Democrats to stiffen their backbone on the court fight. The messaging isn't as clear to the communities that we're trying to represent, she said. Are we fighting, or not? But Senator Lindsey Graham, RS.C, who was also interviewed exclusively on Meet the Press, downplayed the potential impact on abortion rights. This is not a referendum on Roe v. Wade, Graham said.